This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the ABA Folding Bike Lock. This is an entirely self-contained unit with the chain and lock all part of one mechanism. That mechanism folds up into a very compact package that fits into this wallet-sized carrying case that comes with the lock. A little flap folds over and it's held shut with a magnet. This very small form factor, however, comes with one main drawback, and that is that it's not nearly as beefy as a lot of other bike locks. However, if you look at this as a minimum security lock where threats are not very high, it may be something that's useful to you. When I say it's not terribly beefy, if we look at the thinnest part of this chain, which is usually right at the ends near the hinge points, it's about four millimeters thick and eight millimeters wide. So probably something that can be cut with bolt cutters. But what I'm interested in is seeing what we can do to manipulate this lock open. Now, a lot of these tubular locks, this is a seven pin tubular lock, can be opened with self impressioning tools that look a little bit like this. I am not able to do that with this lock, however, because it uses a non-standard tubular lock size. If we take a moment to compare the key of this lock to my normal tubular lock impressioning tool, you can see that this key is much, much smaller. No way this tool is going to work on it. If we go all the way down to my smallest tubular lock impressioning tool, that's the seven millimeter tool, even that is too large to fit into this keyway. So as a defense against impressioning, at least one of the things ABA did was used a non-standard keyway. Very effective, at least with respect to the manufactured tools. But what we are gonna do right now is see what it takes to single pin pick this lock open. I'm gonna be using this tubular lock tensioning tool and a broken pick to manipulate the pins. To do that, I just go in a clockwise motion. Doesn't matter what order I go in really. I search for the binding pin. If I find one that's bound up, I press on it till it sets and move on. Keep going in circles until the lock opens. So lock one, got a little click there. Pin two, click there. Click out of three, nothing on four. Click out of five, six is loose, and seven is bound. Got to click there. Back to one, he's set. Two feels set, three feels set. Not sure about four, five is set. Okay, and we just moved one position. One position is not enough to get this open. We're gonna to need to move it one more position to get the lock to open. So let's do that right now. One, two, nothing on three, nothing on four, five. Click out of six. One, two, three, four, Okay, and that second position, it's enough to open this lock up. So clearly a lock that is susceptible to single pin picking, but honestly, that's not something that a lot of people tend to do. Usually on these tubular locks, if someone is going to pick them, they're going to be using a tool like this, and that tool just is not going to work on this non-standard core. The more serious threat to a bike lock like this would be attacking the chain with bolt cutters. And here I have to say that is a serious threat and probably one that would work, an attack that would work on this lock. However, as I said, in a low security sort of situation where any sort of a lock on your bike will act as a deterrent, this may be something that you could use. That's all I have for you on this ABA folding bike lock. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.
Thank you.